And um, when I was coming up, like I told you a lot earlier, coming up in South London, I didn't have too many role models to look up to. I didn't have any people that looked like me that were doing amazing things. And I just remember looking at Jamal throughout his journey and just seeing certain moments that just meant the world to me. And if it wasn't for people like Jamal, in fact, Jamal himself, I wouldn't be here today. Um, and this event wouldn't be happening. 100%. And I think um, for people like us who are behind the scenes and have platforms, I remember when we was coming up as um, two guys, there's like platforms that have come before us, but I would say like open heartedly, Jamal Edwards is the only platform or owner that has come before us that has like shown man love properly and he proper tried to give me advice and proper tried to help. So he holds a very big place in my heart. 100%, 100%. Um, So we actually have somebody who's gonna come and collect the award. Um, It's a member of the SPTV team. It's Vanessa. 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 Good evening, everyone. Um, My name is Vanessa, and I am an executive assistant and producer at SBTV. I hope you don't mind if I take a few minutes of your time. I'm accepting this award on behalf of Jamal's mum and sister, Brenda and Tanisha, and Isaac, and the rest of the SBTV team. So they've asked me to share a few words with you this evening. Um, We all know Jamal was a high achiever, and at the top of the year, he said, I've got to the point where I'm just collecting letters after my name now. He is now Jamal Edwards, MBE, MBA, MWA. He's definitely got a thing for M's. We at SBTV will continue the mission Jamal started, which is to support talent from all backgrounds, from A-listers to grassroots, on-screen talent to off-screen talent. SBTV and the Jamal Edwards Self-Belief Trust will continue to build on his incredible legacy. Jamal was a man that lived by his heart and led with his heart too. In a world where it's easy to get lost in our thoughts, I encourage you all to remember your hearts, especially in this business. As Jamal also said, with self-belief, we can truly change things, even when they seem impossible. Thank you all for your continued support and love. God bless you all. This is from Isaac. Isaac is Jamal's right-hand man, for anyone that doesn't know. This is also a message from Brenda Edwards, his mum. She says, I'm very honored and touched to receive this special award on behalf of my son. Jamal was a true force of nature, and he lived for and believed in British art in its fullness and thrived seeing artists varying genres and disciplines, including off-screen talent, breaking down barriers. We must continue to support the next generation to break through and we must continue to be risk takers to ensure diverse ideas and voices break through. Jamal has always been extraordinarily welcoming and encouraging to all people. I am inspired, motivated, and driven by his selflessness to continue the work he started, which was to connect and uplift all people. I will always deeply cherish the great memories shared, so it is a huge honor to accept this special award on behalf of my son, SBTV, the Jamal Edwards Self-Belief Trust, and most importantly, his family. And lastly, Jamal Edwards once tweeted, we all die. The goal isn't to live forever. The goal is to create something that will. With all of your support, I know we can. Rest in peace, Jamal Edwards. Thank you. My name is Jamal Edwards, and my company is SB.TV. I got a camera for Christmas, and then I just started filming around my estate. And then from then, it just kept on growing and growing and growing. It started off doing UK grime and UK rap and hip-hop, spitting bars straight to the camera on the street corners, anything. And then my YouTube check started coming in and uh, I said to my mum, look, I've got like hundreds of pounds, let me leave Tottenham. It's like, no, it's not a sustainable income. What is YouTube? All this. And I was like, please, like, if I leave, I can build it and keep on building it. It's like the feedback I was getting from people and stuff, like everyone was watching my videos, commenting on my videos and that just motivates me to keep going and provide everyone with fresh content every day. So I'm always trying to find talent before they even hit Tidal or Apple's um, sort of awareness of the artist. So I, 
I remember I did the first UK interview with Drake, I did the first UK interview with Nicki Minaj, Wiz Khalifa, and I just, just, I was just on it, like, on it. An underlying message that I try and put through everything is self-belief. So, some a person overcoming their problems or a person trying to inspire self-belief, and that, that can be applied to music, fashion, comedy, sport, business, and that's what hopefully I'm gonna do for like the next 10 years, maybe. I don't depend on no one, I'm like, I may have a team, but I know I've got to do this for myself because I'm the one that's most passionate about it. Yeah, they work with me and that, but like, I know if I want to do something, I'm going to have to go out and do it. Obviously, I'll ask them and then they'll help me to do it, but at the end of the day, it's me. Like, I'm the guy that has to thrive everyone. Stop trying to focus on other things and letting in all these other things. And I always said, like, chase your dreams, not a competition. I go to these places on the regs, like, where I'm doing interviews with people, there'll be other film crews and all that there, they're like, hefty cameras and stuff like with my cameras like some hd thing i still get the job done like but loads of people would be looking at me like who's this guy like da -da -da, coming in here and that but like i like even people say i get more views on the internet than some of them so like it's not about what you've got it's about how you do it i always try and make sure i give if someone tells me an idea and i think it's great or if i can connect the bridge i'm always like let me try and help i learned from a guy called ken hurts that um, it's about connecting people in whatever industry it is, you're always going to get someone that's going to come after and do it. And, and yeah, you and just got to make sure you evolve. Whenever you make, like, from the, from the first check to the first million or whatever, it's like the motivation to keep going. Because if you can do that, then imagine what you can do if you put, you. More, like, behind it. put more behind it. Yeah, that's the perfect way to... Mm -hmm. um, That was a lovely video to remember our icon and right now we are all going to have a minute silence to remember Mr. Jamal Edwards. Ha, 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 ha.